Hey, I'm Dan Merle, and this is Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Alexa. Alexa asks, will we ever get to talk to our apps using Siri? That's a great question, Alexa, and it's something we've been wondering too. With all the great new tools, SDKs, and even a brand new language announced at this year's WWDC, many thought for sure that this would be the year that one more thing would include a Siri API for our apps. But that didn't happen. Why? My guess is the timing is still not quite right. If you pull back to see the big picture and take the long view, there are some really big things dropping into place. Want to talk to your home? Well, Siri now does that with HomeKit. Ask, hey Siri, through your Apple Watch? Yep, it'll do that too. Apple is overdue on a new Apple TV, so something big may be coming there as well. But right now, Siri still has to use a network for recognition. Once Apple drops that requirement, I'd say chances are pretty good that a developer API is close behind. But just because Siri isn't readily available, does that mean we can't talk to our apps? Heck no! Third-party solutions rode to the rescue a while ago. And here are some of my favorites. Nuance Communications has a long pedigree in voice recognition software, and in fact, has partnered with Apple in developing Siri's voice recognition and natural language processing software. And they have an SDK that you can use to add both voice recognition and synthesis to your app. You can build your own version of Siri. Now there is also an open source solution called Open Ears. It's not only completely free to use, but it also has a feature not found in either Nuance or Siri. Open Ears can work without a network connection, so all the recognition happens in your app. Although the dictionary of words and languages it recognizes is much smaller, if it can easily handle all the words your app needs, you're all set. Now once you get that data from Nuance, Open Ears, or even iOS's dictation feature, what do you do with it? iOS has a really powerful object called NS Linguistic Tagger. It can break your sentences up in all kinds of ways so you can easily extract the user's intent. It's really cool, so check it out. Or you could try one of my other two favorites, wit.ai or api.ai. Both of these libraries can do all that work for you and actually parse out the user's intent from what they said. You can say something like, make an appointment with Steve sometime this afternoon, and these libraries will tell you that the intent is to create an appointment with Steve at 3 p.m., which is the first time available on my calendar. And that's really powerful stuff, and your app can do that right now. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag askadev or just leave them in the comments. We good?